mortgages and families So we're going on a sketchy tour No country is too obscure We're gonna drink and cough and fight and snort We're no effects, this is backstage passport In 2006, my band NoFX came up with a plan to play a bunch of countries that we'd never been to before. Countries that bands don't normally play, like Israel, China, Russia, South Africa. We filmed the whole thing and turned the best bits into a show called Backstage Passport. It was an incredible experience, but things didn't always go so smoothly. Some of the chaos was actually a lot of fun. I really liked that stuff. But the real bummers were when the shows got canceled and we couldn't play. In Colombia, the promoter lied about everything. He didn't set up a venue, and he was getting death threats from all the kids he'd ripped off. In Peru, the police surrounded the whole venue, demanded money, wouldn't let us leave, so we had to smuggle our way out in an equipment truck. Mexico City, this is one of the concerts that we didn't show on TV. Mexico City, pouring rain, first song, and the barricade collapse. Can you step back for a minute? Who threw that? Just step back a little bit so we can get the people off the ground. What's going on, Jay? Oh, it's totally normal. It's totally normal. It's just how it is in Mexico. I've been with No Effects for over 20 years, been around the world a bunch of times, and things just rarely go according to plan. Holy shit! Holy shit! Let's get all of the dangerous things off of the floor. Um, I'm telling them to get rid of the barricades. If they don't see it, they fall and they get trampled up. It's a good time. But just that way, the cops can just be a human barricade. This is great. You know, cops and kids getting along in harmony. No, no. The police are your friends. They're here to help you. We found that the best thing to do when things get tense is to just keep on playing. Do this ride in the dark ball, it's a real black hole. Unfortunately, things didn't calm down. Kids started pushing against the cops, cops were pushing back. I mean, everything just went downhill from there. And then the stage starts collapsing. Vegan vegetarian. Hey, they want us to stop. So the organizers tell me to tell the band to stop playing so they can fix the stage. Hey, the stage is falling apart. They told us we can't play anymore. They told me that if we didn't move everyone back and fix the stage, that the show would be over. Look, you have to move back or we can't play. All the way. Move back. Move back. What's this with the band? The fucking police are shutting it down. The police are shutting it down. I want to play more. I want to play for another hour. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. The police are shutting it down. They pulled the plug and the cops moved in and cleared everyone out. The kids threw everything they could get their hands on and the stage crew were blocking all the projectiles with beer tents. It was a full on riot. That's how the show ended. So a few years later, we decided to go back to a lot of these countries where everything got fucked up so we can make up the shows for our fans. It's going the wrong direction, buddy. Sit on backwards. That's gotta be pretty clean. The show's gonna be fun tonight. Yeah, I don't know. What do you know? When we hit the stage, the crowd just went nuts. They were just all... <sighs> Whenever we play Mexico City from now on, we're gonna play inside, right? Inside. All right, this song's for you people because uh, how many Mexicans we got here tonight? Quite a few, about half. How many, uh, how many people we have here tonight? 
This song's called Mexicans. Here we go. Mexicans, 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 fuck yeah, yeah. Mexicans, 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 fuck yeah, yeah. Mexicans, 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 fuck yeah, yeah. Mexicans, Mexicans, Mexicans. I'll get that cheese for you. Yeah, andale, epa. Mexico City, check. No rain, no riots, no complaints. Just a crazy crowd and a great night. Before moving on to Peru and Colombia, we had one more show to do in Mexico. say uh, that we're in Monterey, whatever, blah, 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 we've arrived. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, we finally arrived in Monterey. And here it is. <laughs> 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 Smelly, do you want to? Do you want to try? There's this plan for tomorrow night that we're going to go to this uh, wrestling bar, the Lucha Libre wrestling bar, uh -huh. and it's possible that we can all wrestle each other. Oh, yeah, you can do it yourself. We it's can like, do it ourselves. It's like karaoke, sort of. Wrestling karaoke. <laughs> Participate. Yeah. But it might go one step above awesome. that. We might try and invite the whole crowd yeah. to come and join us and just have one big, huge uh, awesome. Lucha oh Libre Monter Monterey Wrestling Fest. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Whatever it is, I want to take on Jefe. I mean, I mean, Fatty. Oh. I want to give him a <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh, dude. I hope this is a rental. If you're gonna wrestle in Mexico, you know, you gotta have a mask. <laughs> I will kill you. No, you won't. Great devil, Jay Walker. Yeah, you can see out of that one, somebody. It's your gray hair. It's nice. <laughs> Meow. Ow. <laughs> that one's fucked up. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. That's fucking freaky. Ah. Creepy. Hanging out with buds and having fun, getting paid to act like kids, essentially. It's really something that's hard to walk away from, but, you know, I just, I had to do it. Mm. 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 These scrambled eggs are amazing. I don't know what they put in them. I feel like Survivor, man. When he finally scores food. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Did you know about my job thing? What job thing? About uh, me taking this other job and not working with you guys a little bit next year? After 20 years with no effects, I had an opportunity to do a private security gig and the money was too good to pass up. And so I really wanted to find time to sit with each band member and talk to them directly one-on-one -on -one and tell them what I was up to. I'm doing a private security job. Private security? Mm -hmm. Gonna go protect rich people. Basically, keep people from being kidnapped or whatever, but it's just crazy money in a short period of time. No so way. I can get some shit paid off and get ahead wow. and blah, blah. But maybe I should get some of my debts paid off. There you go. Can I join you? <laughs> you might be able to. I missed some of the tours. Did you hear about my job I'm doing with Jay? <laughs> I'm going to be missing some of the tours there, Small. Me and Effie going into business together. <laughs> I've just been waiting for a time to tell everybody. It's hard to imagine touring without Jay. Jay and I joined NoFX around the same time, and we have a lot of history together. So. It was pretty sad, but I played it off and I joked around with him. See, this is what it's all about. When Survivor Man cooks up a, a lizard and he eats it, oh, mmm, mmm, wow. I was able to find time to tell everybody in the band that I was leaving except for Mike. Um, I didn't want to tell him right before the show, so I decided I'd wait until afterwards and then we can talk about it. Uh, have you seen NoFX play before? Uh, no, never. They never come to Monterey before. 
So can you tell me again what happened? Uh, he forgot the paint, so we were gonna write N O F X, but he forgot. He forgot the paint. <laughs> We were all pretty excited about Monterey. Mexico City had just been huge, and we were going to a city we'd never played before. The kids outside heard about our plan to wrestle after the show, and word was getting around. So who do you think in NoFX is the best wrestler? Um, El Jefe. El Jefe? Why El Jefe? Uh, because he's Latin. Uh, he he has uh, the, the blood of the luchador. Why El Jefe? El Jefe is, is very, no sé, he looks like a, an albondiga. Like a uh, meatball. Who do you think would be the uh, the best wrestler in NoFX? I think Smelly. Smelly? Yeah, he's kind of a badass. Eric, if you hear me, I'm gonna beat you. I will okay. rest. I can't spot Mike. Okay, why Fat Mike? Well, uh, because I hate Fat Mike. <laughs> so who do you who do you want to wrestle? Fat Mike. Why Fat Mike? I don't know. <laughs> I, I would just like to punch him in the face. This one I've been to. It was our first time in Monterey. The show sold out. It started off awesome. Just as the first song started, uh, the barricade collapses. People are getting crushed, just like Mexico City three years earlier. Three years later, different city, same problem. Barricade collapses, show comes to a dead stop. This guy's getting fucking cut in half. So they're getting the barricade back up, and I see the security trying to put it together with plastic zip ties. Correction, one plastic zip tie. So I get some local guys, and we get some road cases between the stage and the barricade, and we kind of rig this thing up, and we just, you know, held our breath, prayed that it was gonna hold. We're gonna die here! Everyone! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Okay, we're ready, let's do this. Lights! Lights! Okay, now we dance. What a time and things get. Can't get with a pool and shoot the NRA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why die the government? Why die the government? Why die the government again? Murder the government. Once the barricade was fixed, the show went great. It was one of the best shows we'd had for a real long time. But the only problem was Mike seemed to be having a little more alcohol than usual. Mike usually has a drink or two before the show, but this time he had maybe lost count or something, and he starts getting a little surly. To make matters worse, Mike was promised drugs before he went on, and there weren't any when he was done, so he was totally wasted and super angry. I was just told by our tour manager, we have no cocaine after the show. We're not gonna talk about what a drug addict I am, okay? No, we're gonna play punk rock, here we go. Good night! Mike got through the show fine. The problem started when the band went out for an encore.
I win! I win! Come play! Tell my wife bye. We started playing the song Whoops IOD, fitting, and Mike's so drunk he can't remember where he is in the song. No second chance. No guiding. Mike turns around and blames me for screwing up the song, and everything from there just kind of turns into a big train wreck. Mike kicks a stage fan over. He's yelling, he's pointing the finger. You, you messed up the song, man. And then he just starts singing, I don't know what words, and started just rambling nonsense. Six minutes past. The show started falling apart with Mike fighting with Hefe, so I went over and grabbed him and pulled him back into the center so he would just finish the last few songs and then we can get out of there. Heather, you got lost, right? Stop blaming it on me. Hey, me smelling and melting against you. You're wrong. Who cares? Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. But instead of playing, he goes over and fights with Melvin. I have to go over there and grab him again, drag him back over, and hope that he'll just finish the show. Yeah, play a song. Talk later. Play a song. Come on. Play a song. Talk now. Hey, fucking pick. Just give me a fucking pick. And then he kicks me in the back of the leg. Yeah, I punched him. He, uh... It was embarrassing himself, he was embarrassing us, and he decided that he was gonna kick me when I was getting him a pick. It, it set me off, you know? And then I gave him his pick back. There's a fucking pick! Thank you! There's fucking bus! I actually don't remember any of this. Mike! What? What do you want? Dinosaurs! Just get out of here! You're blowing it! Why do you fucking play that fucking song, you fucking pisshead? My name is Fat Mike and I'm an alcoholic. Or be an alcoholic, or be go drug dependent, or be certain animals of the time. Adios, amigos y amigas. I'm not going wrestling. I don't want to be with him. At that point, I thought the worst was over. But as I'm walking backstage, I see Mike yelling at Jay, screaming at Jay for God knows what. Yeah, you know what I just fucking heard? That you're not going to fucking work for us anymore. You're not going to work for us anymore? You're worried about money? You're worried about money? No, I don't want fucking money. I'm worried about fucking my fucking friendship with you. This wasn't how I wanted the conversation to go. What the fuck you tell me? I've been telling everybody on this tour. But not me. But not me. On this tour. When have we been sitting around? We figured the best thing to do would be to get Mike back to the hotel, and then I could talk to him in the morning. Stop fucking pushing me like a fucking baby. Put your phone in your pocket. Stop it. Put your phone in your pocket. Mike was such a shit pile. There's no point in trying to fight with him about it or argue it. It's just easier to laugh it off with him and deal with it later. There's just. Hmm? I'm gonna fucking punch you in your face so hard when you're not expecting it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And I don't care what the repercussions are. <laughs> Let's wrestle tonight. All right. You go get ready to wrestle. I'm going to go pack up the shit. I'll talk tomorrow. All right, buddy. Well, wrestling was already canceled because nobody wanted to hang out with Mike in that condition. Yeah, I don't know how good an idea it is to get Mike out at this point, just because he's like a fucking train pity. wreck. Yeah, no, no drugs for him, but he's kind of a pity. He's like boozy, over the top pity. Fuck. I was honestly pretty bummed that there was no drugs at the show, but just learning that Jay Walker was leaving our crew. Uh, really hit me hard. I was going through a divorce back home and uh, losing another 20 year relationship just really pushed me over the edge. When I drink too much alcohol, I sometimes go on a downward spiral, which I stop by doing a little cocaine, which puts me in an upward spiral. That's why we call cocaine the soberizer. And when I don't have any, it's just downward spiral. I had hoped that Mike would just go to the hotel and pass out and it would be over. But when I got to the hotel, he was in the middle of some video interview. So, Fun Mike, tell me about it. I know you guys been in South Africa, you guys been in, um, I don't know, um, Italy, Korea. Italy, yeah, we've been in Italy. Been How in crazy Italy. is that? This was not ideal PR. Hey, Fun Mike, can you say hello for the people who keep watching the Raw? And don't, don't yeah, fucking just, move. Hey, but my, just, my just can, can, you stay, can you say, sigan viendo the roll, no se muevan. Si a veces hacen el round. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's last fun. Hey, hey, but my, do you want me to come back or what? Yeah. You guys are good. That's real. You fucking clown. You are. I'm not telling you. Mom, you. I'm fucked. I want to fucking. Let's just go home. This is. It's. You're pathetic. I mean, you gotta pull it together just a little. It's so embarrassing. No one cares about getting you drugs, dude. No one's getting you drugs anymore. Good, great. Then fuck you guys. Listen to me. Fuck you. Listen to me. You're Axl Rose, you're the douche from 30 Seconds Rats to Mars. Fucking nose. You're all those fucking guys, and it's it's Rats sickening. I'm not talking to you anymore. Okay. Just lay here. Yeah. Pull out a fucking credit card and pay for this glass you brought me to. How serious were you when you said you wanted to just shut the whole thing down? Well, you can't shut the whole thing down. I mean, he knows that. It's like, you know, the same way we laugh when we make false threats at our kids. It's totally true. I wouldn't have believed uh, what a jerk I was, but I saw the footage and it's there. And I am not proud. If this was only a one-time deal, it happens. People go through things, they do things. I'm hoping that this behavior doesn't continue and I'm concerned for the guy. All right, so that's it for Monterey. You wanna take a break or you wanna move on to Peru? You good? In 2006, we tried to play a show in Lima, Peru, but it didn't go so well. While the crew was setting up, the police surrounded the venue and held them hostage while waiting to get paid for permits. So our guys had to sneak out in an equipment truck. So four years later, we were finally flying back to Peru to try to make up the show that never happened. On our way to Peru again. Uh, let's see if out. let's see if we can pull this one off. Por favor. Oh. Some fans greeted us at the airport with a huge Peruvian flag that said no effects across the middle. It was really nice to know that they're not holding a grudge against us for last time. Tomorrow. 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 I, we're hoping for a cancellation. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm Gonzalo, the promoter. How you doing, man? Welcome back. Okay, everyone. We got a really nice bus. Ow. Don't. Stop it. Ow, you're hurting me. Ooh. 
Pizza Hut, yeah. things are looking good. When I'm on stage and we say hi, we're no effects, that'll give you some kind of a reaction. Until then, you ain't getting nothing out of me. And I bet it'll be a really good show and we'll be happy we came here. You're gonna make a fool out of me twice. We have a promoter that I have a ton of confidence in, who we met last time. Oh, look, Kent has confidence. Well, that should make a big difference. <laughs> so we're all in a good mood. We drove up the beach on the way to the hotel, and there's a bunch of fans waiting for us outside. Oh my god, Hefe, look at that shirt. Look at the shirt that guy's got on. I love Hefe! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Eric Melvin from No Effects. I'm enjoying a Pisco Sour here in Lima. And I want to let you all know that we are here. We're really here, we're really gonna play. There's Pisco Sour. After the last tour, Jay, our drum tech and lifelong friend, had taken another job and left our crew. So for our South America tour, we brought along our friend Rhino to take his place as drum tech and our friend Miguel to take his place as my right hand. So you, ha you haven't been to the venue, have you heard anything about it? Nothing yet. No? No. But I think it's gonna be good, you know? It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna go off. 700 pre-sale. Any hint at all that anything's gonna go wrong today? Yeah, we're in South America. We pull up to the venue and then breathe a sigh of relief. Last time we were there, it was a dirt lot. This time, it's a pirate-themed mini-mall. Wow. Wow, okay. Not bad looking. It might be bad sounding, but uh, not bad looking. The venue was looking good, but I couldn't shake the idea that the police were going to show up and hold us hostage again. Police going to shut the show down? I, I haven't seen any police. It's cool. Welcome to Peru! Thank you. This time it's okay. Things were going great, but there was one little problem. What's going on? Canceled. What? Tomorrow morning's flight is canceled because the plane never left New York. So our lobby call is not at 4.30 a.m. anymore. Is that what you're yeah, it's good news. Yes! Uh, it's not? Tomorrow's show is the biggest show of the tour. True story. True are story. Gonna, are we going to make it there? Well, we have a flight that goes Three hours later, but five of us are on standby. We don't know which five. Not me. Not me. You bitch. don't know that. It's a machine. <laughs> not, it's not a decision made oh, by... by on the, on the, which fight? The first one? The one that's now at ten. Oh, I, uh, so we don't have first class seats anymore? That's definite. Oh! Wait, no, no. It gets better. It gets better. It's four hours. flight that we were getting the 430 lobby call for is cancelled. What? 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 Because of the snow in New York City. New York City! <laughs> so we got into Peru okay, but it might not be so easy getting out. At least not in first class. Well, they room, please, to warm up the trumpet. This is the quiet room. No, it's not. I'll go to the other room. He always gets the quiet room. Yeah. That's the whole point of it. He needs a quiet room. He always gets the sober quiet room. Nobody. Years of drug abuse. You'll get it eventually, Mike. Lima through. Last 
last words before going on stage, Lima, Peru? I'm excited to play Lima, Peru. Are you for reals? Yes, this is not sarcasm on my face. This is pure excitement. It is. I'm excited. Look at his ass. Thanks for coming. I'm fucking excited. Here we go. We hit the stage and I see a huge crowd of happy, smiling kids. And it was the best feeling. After all this time, we finally made it. The bad things when life is so good. Why up with an M when there's always a good? Gracias, no fix. Cheers, no fix forever. The Beatles sucks. I want to it's know like, what it's I love you guys. I love you. Thank you so much, guys. It took so long, but it was worth it, you know? I can rest in peace now. I saw no fix and happy. Four years you waited to see them? Yes. Anything you want to say to no effects? Watching Michael Moore, expose the awful truth. I'm listening to the dead kid, I need to wish you. Watching no world peace, cause I don't our forces. No breath fits, cause I'm from the old forces. Say hi, say hi, Fat Mike. Hola, Fat Mike. Oh, Fat Mike. You'll be on a no effects DVD. Does that make you happy? I am happy! Hello, the DVD no fix! I am Peru! What a boom noise! The FNA again! Head down low with the nice Australian! What I wanna be another rhino character! What are we gonna do, Franco? Franco on American! Just like the hotel lobby! Great, it's worth it. Lima Peru. Lima, totally fucking amazing. Lima was awesome. He was great. He was fucking awesome. Was you know me. So I'm jaded, sarcastic, don't care about a lot of things. I'm not jaded and super glad we came back to Lima. Yeah. Totally worth it. The show is as good as Beijing or Moscow. He was a great, right? great job. I actually I came on stage, it was funny because I was smiling. Yeah. I was like, wipe that fucking smile off. Be cool, do not pretend like you're happy. I know, we're gonna have to start making a special trip. You think we can get direct flights to leave? You know what? No, no, both cameras right here. Both cameras, split screen. Uh, <laughs> Lima is on the itinerary. If we're coming back to South America in three or four years, Lima is on the itinerary. Coming back to Lima. You can mark my words. Is that a promise? Hell no. <laughs> I'm high. I'll say anything when I'm high and proving in fucking coke. They're in there packing their beaks with booger sugar. Come on, Steven Tyler and Joe Perry. Mike's drug use is still a sensitive issue since Monterey. But the only way we can get through it as a band and as friends is just to poke fun at it.
Hey. Dude, are you watching this? No. Quick, get in here. It's Ryan. Look. I just got woken up. What happened? Jen just called? She just called and said this 8.8 .8 earthquake just hit uh, Chile. And that turned on the news and then there's tsunami warnings for Peru, Lima. My... You need to turn on the news. Turn on the news now, CNN. Earth there's a huge earthquake. This is Hefe. 8.8 earthquake off Chile. The northern and southern part of the country is not passable. He couldn't say whether it had collapsed, but he said uh, not passable. Our film crew is in my room now. <laughs> Hefe called me at 4 a.m. about the big Chilean earthquake, and surprisingly enough, I was still up. We have the tsunami warning. Oh, oh Joel, that's rad. There's a tsunami warning in Lima. Right now. We were supposed to play Chile in two days, so we just missed the big earthquake there, but we're still in the tsunami zone. I got woken up. My wife called me and says, you need to turn on the TV now. Like her dad and her brother are all looking all this stuff up on the computer. And they're stressing the fact. Tsunami warning issued for Chile and Peru. And we're in Peru right now. And the beach is six blocks away. We were hoping for a riot, but not an 8.8 .8 earthquake, you know. We still got the tsunami to worry about. We don't want to get washed up. Tsunami? Tsunami you. <laughs> tsunami. Mike and I didn't really know what to do. We're like, are we in danger? Should we change the tour plans? We should probably go tell Kent. Hey, Kent. Emergency. We need to check your mini bar. Hefe's got problems. What? You gotta open the door. What do you mean, Hefe? Hi. Hi, there's a tsunami warning right now for Peru Lima. There's an 8.8 .8 earthquake just hit Chile. Big fucking turn earthquake. Turn on the news. See, see Tsunamis are coming to Peru right now. You need to turn on the news. Why am I smiling? I don't know. I'm smiling. Why are you smiling? I have to pee. He looks really sexy what? in the middle of the night. Kent's a sexy, sexy man. Put your flip flop on. Quit being a pussy. God damn Canadians. Scared of tsunamis. I was dead asleep. I had no idea what was going on. Mike's high. Hefe's got no pants on, and they're rambling on about some tsunami at four in the morning. I've never heard of an 8.8 .8 since I've been alive. What's okay. the point of this? Right now they have six people dead, buildings collapsed. Chile had an 8.8 .8 earthquake. That's the biggest earthquake I've ever Two heard of. Two hours ago. Since 1964 in Alaska. Buildings have collapsed, people are dead, and there's tsunami warnings for Lima, Peru. <laughs> Should we go to the top floor and have dinner? I'm gonna try to I would guess that it's not, and the standby seats are not gonna happen. Kent could not have cared less about the earthquake or the tsunami. I think it's because he's from Winnipeg and they don't have those things there. So he just yawned a lot. We got nothing from you? You know what? What do we need? I, don't know what I can take care of this. I'm I'm the I'm only two months younger than him. I used to tour manage no effects. And you know what? I'm a lot smarter than Kent, so I can deal with this. And Hefe, he cares. Yeah. Look at that. That's 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 a face of fear. I, I, I fear for my life. I want to walk down to the beach and watch the tsunami. Yes, I do. Well, you're on coke, so... I mean, that's what people do when they're on coke. Really? They watch tsunamis? Yeah, they usually gather around the beach and watch tsunamis. Mmm. Go to sleep. I think you're... You know, that's why we have Kent. When things get tough, the tough get sleeping. It was four o'clock in the fucking morning. Hey, Philly. What? Sam Mike. What's up, buddy? You gotta lock your door. Big earthquake. I know. How do you know? Where? Chile. Huge. The tsunami's coming. They even filmed in Buenos Aires. It's the biggest earthquake since 1960. Okay. And there's, there's a tsunami coming to the beach. I don't know. I thought I'd wake you up. I'm telling people. 
Ah, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can anyway, I go to the beach with me? Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. The cliffs, I'll be fine. Get out. I thought you liked this kind of shit. Okay, bye. That's why I'm going back to bed. I'm not going to chill anymore. Good night. No one cares. Happy birthday. Tsunami. Just when you think there's nothing else that can happen. I'm, I'm backstage passport. Bring. Where you guys? Oh. <laughs> oh. You know what? I've always had a feeling that I'll be taken out by a tsunami. How ironic would that be? No, not ironic. Fat Mike on Coke in Peru gets killed by tsunami. That's that's what I wanted to say on my headstone. Just make sure it says that. I knocked on some other people's doors to tell them about the uh, the crisis, but no one seemed to care. So I went back to my room and uh, went on with my plan of staying up all night. Okay, so put on your old tour manager hat. What does this do to our tour? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what I think this does to the tour is makes it not a money-making tour anymore. We'll have to change our plane tickets in Chile was a big show. I mean, shit, there's only 10 shows on this tour. And Buenos Aires could get canceled too. If Buenos Aires gets canceled, then fuck. I was bummed enough about not being in first class. my door in at 4.30 in the morning to tell me about it. Yeah, Hefe was running around in the hallway wearing a t-shirt and underwear. We were going to go to Chile tomorrow. No, we're not going now. There's nothing to go to. But right now, we're about three blocks from the ocean, and we're in the window that the tsunami is supposed to hit. We're getting in a bus right now to go to the airport. Just wanted to let you know in case you heard about it, and, and, you know, that I'm okay. Let's go! Two buses. Switch. Our bus was on the left. I went to the right. Check, testing, one, two. Check, testing, one, two, three. I don't think this is our van. Let's go. This is a Chinese van. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone else went to the airport. I came to the beach, well, far above the beach, to see tsunami. The 28 earthquake, it's supposed to be a tsunami. People are driving on the beach, that's crazy. People are driving on the highway. So all night, the tsunami warning was on the news and everyone was talking about it, but some people clearly didn't get the memo. Those are like local fishermen, those guys over there. They don't know. They don't know nothing. They don't have cable. Those dudes do not have cable. They're in a, a rowboat. Dudes! To my dismay, the tsunami never happened. So I had a few more drinks and went to meet everyone at the airport. <laughs> we had already had trouble with our flights to Argentina, and the earthquake had screwed up flights all over South America. So we're suddenly worried about whether we'd even make it to our next show. Uh-oh. Oh, I got look. Daka has 28, 28 passengers check to check in. in. If the passengers came, they grab our seats and put the passengers who... So you're telling me the other the passengers the, yeah. have priority over us. Exactly. So in 20 minutes, the coin is in the air. Si o no, chinga tu madre. Chinga tu madre. Yeah. This only happens to no effects and spinal tap. I told her about that. We have to get there. Yes or yes. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah, I gave him a couple of presents. You guys doing something interesting? No. Oh. <laughs> Five of us are okay. standby. Okay. For real. It doesn't cook. Huh. 
Five are still standby. Who are the five? Hey, Jack. This is it. We're out of our crew. All we have is limo. We're going to tune our own guitars. Guess smell he's setting up his own shit. Good luck, my man. Well, I told Hefe how to plug in his things. I don't think he's plugged in his own things. Uh, shit, man, maybe in 92. You were explaining it all to him. Did it, did it go well? No, it didn't. Not at all. Input of the tuner goes to the input of the amp. No, output of the tuner goes to the input of the amp. So you can't go in, in. Limo will help him. Too bad Jay Walker's not here. He would have got us on the flights, probably. <laughs> our biggest show of the tour is in Buenos Aires tonight. And our crew didn't make the plane. That's okay, though, because we have Kent, and he can manage almost anything. Buenos Aires was awesome. After all the worries of the tsunami and the flights, it all worked out in the end. Since our Chile show was canceled, we had three days off in Buenos Aires. So after the show, I told Kent to try to book a secret show at a bar. So I went to Anna, the promoter, and she found a local punk bar that held 200 people that we could play the next night. So we booked it. It had been a long two days. Shows, flights, tsunamis. So we crashed pretty hard after the show, but Mike, who needed the most rest of all, just kept on going. Hi. I need to uh, have more money. I got robbed. It's a good one. My money is very, very bad, but uh, my French is good. Uh, yeah. Je. 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 Je suis robbed. 7.30 in the morning. I went to sleep really drunk, but I woke up at 7, back hurt me. So I decided to take a walk, because walking helps my back. And then I texted you, the cameraman, and said, hey, I'm wandering around Buenos Aires, 7.30 in the morning. And the bike rider came by and grabbed my iPhone and took off with it, which happened to have $300 in it, too. There's the guy right there. Get my iPhone back, bitch. I drank about a bottle, three quarters of a bottle of vodka over the night, took a sleeping pill, Ambien, and I took a, a Percocet. I made a deal last night with uh, my girlfriend and Limo. Limo's allowed to give me a certain amount of drugs after a show, but not all the drugs, because I'm not uh, responsible enough. Some people get worried about me sometimes. I don't really get worried about it, but I don't want to die. So I just want to play it really fucking safe. I've turned over a new leaf a little bit. Okay, yeah, what's up? Okay, I had an iPhone two hours ago. I was walking, someone on a bike, I was talking, and he grabbed it. Yeah. Uh, I got robbed! I want, One hour ago, I got robbed. Yeah. All right. What about the girl here? Have you tasted anyone? Have I tasted anyone here? Yeah. Oh. Any girl? No, I don't, I don't taste Wonderful South girls. American girls now. Let me show you a picture of my girlfriend. Uh, no, but my phone got stolen. For real. I gotta try doing that. If I drop it, I'll pay for them all. Get my money, bitch. Yeah, I got bread on my head. You got a problem with that? Effects, bitch. Listen to punk rock. Yeah, I must buy. Yeah. 
What are you looking at? I need shots of you just acting casual so I can cut it against the other conversations we had. Is that, is that casual? I think between having three hours of sleep and a couple of Campari's with breakfast, my inhibitions got loosened a little bit. Talking on my iPhone, my cell phone, iPhone, talking, and a bike rider came by, grabbed it, took off. Okay. I got robbed. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Nobody cared about my story, but I did get a cool new jacket. Let me in, people. You got any drugs back here? Can I buy some drugs? No, 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 no. I know the new rules state that limo is supposed to be in charge of my drug intake. There was a huge sign that said ecstasy behind the guy. Pretty much all this place is is a butt plug store. I got some supplies. Nothing, nothing weird. Charge it to Fat Records. I don't need a bag, dude. I was, I was talking on my phone, and someone on a bike drove by, took my phone. That's, that's and I bought this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. How many times are you gonna walk back down this sweet street? street? How many drinks did you have at lunch? I had some Campari and soda, and I had some vodka. Oh, and a Fernet Bronco, too. Okay, so this morning, it's 7.30, and I call him, I go, you know what, I'm just gonna walk around. And I'm texting him, and some guy on a bike comes by, steals my iPhone. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, that'd be awesome. Did he get it on you? No, I was calling him. Oh, you were calling him. Oh, that's terrible. Finally, some people that can appreciate a good story. Oh. I like to buy these ladies my lessons. What part of Texas are you from? Austin. That's great. That's the best city in Texas. James and whiskey. Ladies, no drinking until Fat Mike gets his. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Do I need to push the red button first? Yeah. Thank you so much. It's really cute that you guys use cameras still, not digital. <laughs> Do you all have boyfriends or husbands, or you, you go the other way? Widow. Widows. Widows. You're all widows. I'm divorced. I'm getting divorced this month after 18 years. Uh, what are y'all going to do with all those pictures you're taking of us? We had a, we had a reality show on Fuse TV a couple years ago, and this is season two. Oh, you show all these old women from Texas then. You know what? We haven't shown any old women from Texas. I'm going to go to sleep. All right. Uh, it's very it's been enjoyable. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, really. Uh, just putting this out there because I'm lame. If anyone you, you want to have sex with me upstairs, oh. <laughs> I'd love to. If you're gonna wait her for a while, I will lick your clit for a long time. 413. Four oh. I'm not kidding. You need to sleep a little more. <laughs> These weren't beer goggles I had on. These are Ambien five vogels. Are you going to bed now? We'll see. <laughs> it was about 9.30 a.m., so I figured it was time to call it a night again. Drank all of that? Yeah. Night off. Night off. No drugs. I was still a half bottle of whiskey. What a great robbery. Hey, why did you film me? While Mike got some much needed sleep, the crew and I went to the local bar where we'd set up the last minute show to check it out. Hey, I need to find out who arranged the massage. She finished with Michael right now? Yeah. So they gave him a super treatment and he's drinking water and taking Advil. He is lovely. He is a disaster, but he is lovely. <laughs> when Mike came down for lobby call to go to the show, he looked in bad shape. 
Strangely enough, drinking a bottle of vodka and staying up till 9 a.m. didn't leave me feeling that refreshed. It was the worst hangover I'd had in years. We were supposed to get out of the van in front of the club, but Mike got impatient and jumped out about a block away. Fucking hassle, let me out. The club had no back door, so we had to go in the front door, which I thought would cause a big scene. So I asked the driver to drop me off a half block early, which actually caused an even bigger scene. There was no backstage area at the club, so I went up to the roof and tried to get myself back together. I don't see how it's possible for me to have a good time tonight. Hola! <laughs> you again? I heard you were grumpy. I don't see it. Oh, I'm so grumpy. Snap out I hit it. some kid with my bottle. I heard you were a jerk. Smelly's kind of upset. It's embarrassing. Like you've always told me. It's one thing to be grumpy, what? but to I, be I, lame I, to the, he said you were lame to the locals. Smelly's upset a little, I'm just telling you. Do, 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 do. You are a miserable human being, and it's your own fault. And I love you. couple hundred kids inside, there's a couple hundred kids outside, and it's exactly what I wanted. Chaos, fun, hot, sweaty. It is, it's a punk show. If there's a fist fight, it'll be a perfect evening. crowd was so loud, they were packed in like sardines, they were chanting at the top of their lungs. I thought I was gonna regret this uh, Argentinian bar show, but once we started playing, as usual, I just started having a great time. We played tons of old songs and lots of B-sides, and the crowd still knew every word. It was the best cure for the worst hangover. Meanwhile, outside the venue, Nobody cut the t tickets and count the tickets. So there's people outside with tickets. One, two, three, this all fun, fun, fun. 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 
With all the kids squeezing past security and overfilling the club, I became suddenly aware that there was really no easy way out of there. And then I hear our crew yelling. What's that old saying about yelling fire in a crowded Argentinian punk bar? Melvin's amp caught on fire. I was thinking, show's over. Exit, strange left. Hey, 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 hey. We win again. And pretty much, we always win. They tried to fuck with us with the 8.8 .8 earthquake. We beat it. We beat, we beat non-existent God again. Look, there's a hair. Look, it's a hair. See, the hair. <laughs> I needed a half hour outside. I loosened up, and it was fun. That was the best show of the tour. Let me open my bra, Smiley. I'm gonna take these things off. Thanks, buddy. You owe me. Did you hear about my new rule? What's your new rule? New rule. Limo is in charge of my drugs. You can only give me a little bit of drugs. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I want everyone around me to stop me after. It's not gonna help. I think it'll help. I mean, it'll help for the time. It might. Anyway, I'm just saying, it's something. Okay. We'll see how it goes. It'll work for a couple days. Okay, we're testing out the new system tonight. Where's Lemma? All right. Okay, I'll try. Okay. In 2006, we tried to play a show in Colombia, but the promoter, Santiago Tumeni, he fucked everything up. He uh, didn't book the venues, he wouldn't call us back, and we ended up canceling at the last minute. It had sucked letting down so many fans in Colombia, so we were excited to make up the show. I don't see a cup. The, the cup has to drop down. Or <laughs> maybe, maybe not. That's fucked up. Dude. That's just wrong. Just took my money and spit it. Fuck the cup. Put it in my hand for a time. We're about to go to Colombia. I'm bringing my own coffee. Just in case I get there and the coffee tastes bad, I can just get a cup of hot water. It's instant and make my own coffee. What kind of coffee is that? This is instant yeah. coffee. This is Starbucks instant coffee. Yeah, but what, like, the... Oh, what? Colombia right there, of course. <laughs> remember the time you brought pot into Amsterdam? <laughs> I remember that. Before we got on the plane to Colombia, there was something I needed to share with the band. Kent and I got, my, got a call about six weeks ago from the casualties manager. Hey, Ken, it's Ron Martinez. Hey, Ron, how are you? Long time no speak. I wanted to run some things by you because the casualties just came back from Colombia. The Bogota show got pretty, pretty nuts. End result was a riot, 20 people getting stabbed. Oh. And then the police came and they shot some people. What? You guys have? Twenty, 20, 20 people. people. Twenty people got stabbed. No way. Not the casualties didn't get stabbed. The casualties did not get stabbed. Okay. Only locals. Oh. I definitely make sure you're not doing the venue we did. If you can find out what it's called, you should let us know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I could actually tell you it was uh, Teatro Metro. Oh. And um, that sounds familiar. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing the same venue. It's awesome. This is the only show that we haven't gotten any money in advance to. Really? I think we should get about $1,000 for stabbing tonight. Wow. I've been nervous about going to Columbia for months leading up to this trip. Why? 
I just uh, recently we went to the doctors and found out that Erica's pregnant. Things feel a little different now that I'm an expecting father. I feel like I've got a little something more to live for. And, uh, another, another reason to try to make it back safely. Some guy gave me some. What is it? He gave me some cocaine and some homegrown marijuana. This is a gift from Colombia. Do you think that's the uh, the craziest fan response? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Now I know what the Jonas Brothers feels like. All around the world, all these years in the band, this is the craziest response. Yeah, by far. By far. So what does this tell you about how the show is going to be? Basically, what that tells me is that this is going to be a great show. We drove by the venue. Kids were already lining up. Looks like everything's going great. How's the coffee out here? Yeah. You have to try it. It's good. There's no Starbucks here. Brains. <laughs> Does that say Viva no effect? I love fucking my friends! Did you did you have tickets to the last show? Yeah, that's right, you know, and that. And they fucking suspend the fucking show and we bought the fucking ticket and they didn't come, you know what I mean? What happened? What did they tell you? Happened? I don't know, it's something about money. I hate that, you know what I mean? Pero entonces para ver el concepto de esta vaina, pero creo que ella les dijo que no había necesidad de pasar el formato, entonces también quería bueno hablar con ella de por qué se tomó esa atribución de no. Se llamó como su oficial de gobierno. Que no está oficiando gobierno. Exactamente. Y le dan una, casi que una orden perentoria a la alcaldesa. Y ella tiene que cumplir. Sí, no, yo no. Porque ella es la no, primera ella autoridad. Está... De ella la primera de la localidad. Usted no, no, no. necesita. Pues acá hacer un evento. es que estos muchachos se durmieron con este, eh, con este tema. Se han nacido lo de golazo a última hora. Bueno, me mostraron la carta. Y según la carta dice la alcaldesa que no. Que so what what's going on? The mayor, the local mayor of this one. She she say no, no way. This this concert is cancelled. Really? Yeah. Este evento no se puede realizar. No tiene permiso. Entonces por favor informe a la gente que no hay evento. Listo? Porque aquí todos los días. We need can here. What's the situation? The situation is uh, there's no permit. <laughs> I got a text from our production manager, Miguel, that said the cops were there and they were shutting down the show. So I jumped in a van with the show organizers and headed over. Try to come as soon as you can. Police come saying no permits for show. Sir, he has a permit. The police. Of course you do. They're, they want money. I understand. <laughs> the police want money too. Yeah. Is there a hurricane coming? That's what we do in, in Texas when it's a hurricane. We tape the glass like that. Twice, waiting, uh, buy the tickets, expensive tickets. Um, you know, we have been waiting for a while here. We are here to see no effects, and we don't understand what is fucking wrong. They quit their jobs. To see there. They quit their jobs. Yeah. To come tonight. Yeah. We are waiting to no effects. We want to see no effects. We are waiting 10 years. What is fucking wrong?
When we pulled up to the venue, there were easily a thousand angry kids outside, and they must have known me from the first backstage passport because they all cheered when I got out of the van. Everybody relax, I'm here to save the day. <laughs> in the production office, everyone was arguing in Spanish, so Miguel was translating what was going on. What they say, the government say there's no permits. They have the permit, it's just not for the exactly. mm. So the minister, yeah, so the, the minister of culture or something like that, they didn't sign it. I mean, we already see, spent see. all this money on our tickets and we bought visas for the band. Exactly. And we're here to play today. Sí, estamos aquí, ya se gastaron we have to fix it today. We sí, have se to, tiene there, there ahora. must be a way. La señora alcaldesa local le solicita al señor coronel comandante de estación. Ya la orden se dio. So the government guys, they're not budging at all. And the police colonel, he catches Sergio in a lie. ¿Cuánto cuesta una boleta para entrar a este evento? 100 mil pesos. 100 mil pesos. A mí me enviaron un oficio que dice, el motivo de la siguiente es informal es que la actividad de tipo privado, dice acá privado, y con carácter gratuito, que se realizará el día 24. O sea, es que uno no puede engañar a la gente. Yo estoy diciendo desde hace rato. Esto hay que decirlo como debe ser. Pero mira, si no es el asunto. Ok, This was getting bad, so I was just grasping for ideas on how to make the show happen. So what are we gonna do, give the money back on the way in? Fully. Sergio lied and told them it was a free show. So we figured we could just make it a free show by refunding everyone's money on their way in. We need money back from money, our money. Hmm? You're talking about the money back, our money? We don't have any money. We don't have they any money. Us any? They didn't pay anything. We paid the visas, we flew here. Yeah. If it comes down to it, you say we thought it was free too. Did you notice when we pulled up that there's a huge like paddy wagon with a water cannon and no. gates on the thing? Oh, there's riot police ready too. Fuck, dude. It's like they want this. We're waiting 20 years to see no effects. We're waiting 20 years. What did they tell you? We don't know. They don't tell you anything? No. This is the second time, it's not fair. We're traveling 12 hours to see no effects. 12 hours traveling. Dude, we're paying a lot of fucking money. We don't have fucking it. No effects. enough money. If there's not a concert, it's gonna be a fucking anarchy here right now. You get a thousand broke kids. You take their ticket money twice. Don't tell them anything. Bring in the cops. This is a total recipe for disaster. Hey, dude, can we have hope? When all else fails, try bribery. I just asked him straight yes, up. Exactly. I said in Spanish, I, I said, listen, if it's a matter of paying to expedite this, can we pay a fine? There's a there's a penalty because because we fucked up and we can just pay it all and do the show today. And he said, yeah, there's no penalty. There's no show. No is the word. It's no. no. And I said, OK, thank you. When bribery fails, you're fucked. The kids are just going harder and harder now because they're getting pissed. They said it would take at least one month to file all the proper permits. So we tried to find a new date that would work. 27 de marzo. Sí, yeah. mejor. So now it's coming the official announcement. Sí, uno, uno de ustedes que oficialmente le diga a los muchachos que van a venir el 27, que no problem. Dude, you're a fucking cunt! Don't talk to me, mate! I want to 
fucking fuck my shit. I'm praying for it. I don't have fucking money, man. Venga, ponga cuidado, ponga cuidado. Ponga cuidado. Oh, my eyes, man. This shit, man. But be cool. All we want is no trouble. No? We needed to get out of there before it got violent, but the only exit was the front door, so we ducked back inside and just hoped they didn't storm the place. There's nothing else that we can do, so we just start packing up the gear and loading out. So let me ask you, Limo, in your years with the band, has it actually happened that there has actually not been a show? Here and uh, Peru. That's the only two times the rock show's not been able to happen. Turn out the lights, the party's over. I guess that's the only music this hall is going to hear today. So that was it. <laughs> so glad those kids didn't hear it. Have you ever had a show not happen? Now it's the first time. You know, I have like 15 years touring in Latin America. It was like, this is the first time that I have something, an experience like that. It's, it's not cool. Yeah, welcome to No Effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the worst thing, look at all those faces. Possessions never meant anything to me. So sad. I'm not crazy. Well, that's not true. I've got a bear. I just shake Mike's hand in the airport. This is so unfair for us. It's on my floor. That's right, I've got. I've been waiting for 10, 14 years. I know I'm a kid. I don't care. If you were really coming on March, I don't mind waiting 15 days. I really don't mind. But please come back. We are uh, listening to Facts in a Bar. Oh, in the bar? Yeah. All right. Flights tonight as soon as I got the internet. I promise. Can, can, please. We hope everyone. Please. We hope come back. Yeah. Fuck. Inside your head. It's me inside your head. It's me inside your head. When the fuck are they music a tree stay? I see is the episode. Sure not playing tonight. Why? Hell riot police. Are you crying? No, but I've um, been shaking for like eight hours. So Hefe, you're not playing tonight, so eat as much cake as you want. What? Hey. Hi Mel. Another boring day on tour. There's no show. Really? Per no permits? What? No permits. Booyah. I went through the story of the day and recapped everything for the band. Tons of cops and guys in all different uniforms. A water cannon truck. The man in the yellow jacket, we just kept calling him. There was an emergency plan that hadn't been filed. And all the kids were already there. There was a thousand kids outside. I was so, I was really as scared as I've ever been. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. We thought we had everything dialed and we got canceled again. There's nothing we can do. We can't, we can't play tomorrow night. 
Give the money to the government. We'll do it free. Yeah, free show. No, no, we already no. They don't care. They already think we're playing for free. Come all this way and it happens again. Ah, oh, dude. Then Mike came down to the lobby, so I ran through the whole thing again. We just spent five hours at the venue with full riot police. There was a tank with a water cannon and a man in a yellow jacket saying, there's absolutely no way you're playing today. Where are we eating? <laughs> Fucker, I knew it. <laughs> we don't get to play. We came all the way here again. Oh. <laughs> it's just gonna be a good show. After seeing all the kids at the airport and all the kids at the venue, I was super disappointed that we didn't get to play the show. There's no way, the old front is the only way out. So if there's a riot, I mean, if it got lit on fire, I was like peeing, looking at this window, thinking about how I'd have to launch myself. How you gonna launch yourself? I could have launched myself. The window was this big. Don't even threaten me. I got a lot of adrenaline. March 27th came and went, but the promoter didn't get the permits and couldn't find a venue, and the kids got screwed again. Give me a smooch. For two years, we weren't able to get back to Columbia because no promoter could guarantee us that the show wouldn't be shut down. Two years later, I was finally able to book us on a free festival put on by the Colombian government. Hopefully the government won't shut down their own show. And we also booked a show in Chile to make up for the one that had been canceled because of the earthquake. So this tour is our last chance to tie up all loose ends and to keep all our promises. And on top of all that, Jay's back. I came back pretty quickly after I left. The money was better, but it wasn't any fun. And it was just, you can't really be traveling around the world with your family. The reunion. So with our team reassembled and government approval, we're heading back to South America for one more time. We're definitely gonna land in Chile this time. Chile's there. We're gonna make it. I think there's gonna be a show. Oh, you know what? I have to, I have to go right now, because we're going through customs. I gotta go. I'll call you in a few minutes. Bye, baby, I love you. The dog sniffed me out. Oh, yeah? I got a sticker. So what does that mean, the pink tag? Huh? Dog, yeah. dog smells something in my backpack. Maybe there's something in it. What are they gonna do? Put me in jail? If there's one person in our group that I don't want customs to search, it's Mike. As a rule, I never travel with drugs. But they stopped me, and the dog smelled something, and they found it. Beef jerky. Barney is a dog? That'll make me in trouble for a second, but dog loves beef. The best thing about this is having Jay Walker back because we were totally incomplete without him. It was like, you know, it's like something was missing. I, I am really glad we came back to Chile because, you know, obviously they had this huge earthquake and the whole uh, country was a mess. And, you know, most importantly, our show got canceled, which would have really devastated people. So coming back here where one of the first episodes was after six years, it's been a great adventure. And it is, you know, it's gratifying. When we were backstage, there was a few hundred kids outside that didn't have tickets. They uh, got through security and rushed to the door. Backstage, we had no idea what was going on. <laughs> what happened? They just broke in. Who broke in? The like crowd, yeah. How many people got in, you think? Maybe two or three hundred. When I came through, the only thing that I see, it was pepper gas all over. Probably gonna be a fucking hot night. <laughs> Get my money! So the catering girl who worked the show tonight, she made us two dozen vegan cupcakes. 
on the other one, like flavors and everything. They're really great. Mmm. The crowd broke in, like 200 people. They, okay. they broke the door? They broke, oh, they rushed yeah. the door? Yeah, yeah. They oh, broke. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are they still fighting or? Fuck, you people are amazing. Watch this. Have you seen our TV show? Backstage Passport? We've done nothing, we've gone nowhere. I went ahead and booked us some pretty sweet airport hotel rooms for tonight, so everyone's gonna be stoked. Oh, sweet! It's submarine! Check out my hotel room, it's so sweet. Only the best for you. I got the bed, and uh, you don't need a TV. But this is cool because I'm right here, and look, the front desk is right there. <laughs> Guess I need anything. I'm El Jefe. I want you to the grand tour of my crib. Welcome to my crib. Right here is the living room, okay? Over here is the, the kitchen. And this is the bed. This is where it all happens. Oh, oh. There's room for the suitcase right here. You got room to, well, I can't do a setup or anything. How's your, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toilet in the room. <laughs> She's gonna have a surprise tomorrow when she has to clean. Let's all get in the suite. Oh, this is the suite? Yeah, this is the suite. It's kind of wild. You guys wanna watch some TV? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, quit poking me with that thing. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Is That's music. Good? It's party. Uh oh. Uh oh. Music. Shit. We'll go, let's go. Okay. Right. okay. Let's go. Okay. You see my crib now. Get out. We made up the show in Chile, and the last thing on our checklist was to go back to Colombia and finish what we started. Five o'clock in the morning. There's fans at the airport at five in the morning. What time is it right now? Five a.m. No sleep, just for no effects. You know it. When it's over. Thank you, thank you. He lied to his boss. Yeah. That his father had a crash, a car crash. He told his boss that his father was in a car crash, yeah, yeah. so he could come here. Yeah, yeah. One more round and his body to the ground. Smash it on the glass. I had stopped partying because show's over, but the kids brought the party to the airport. So guy's got some coke here, so he's got give me a line in the bathroom. What a sidewalk. That's some records. What that? Good times. Taking over shirts, yeah. gay party. Taking over shirts, yeah. Yeah, it's a drunk country. Let's do it. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to the ground. One more round, then his body's to
bottles to the ground. One more round of these bottles to the ground. One more round of these bottles to the ground. One more round of these bottles to the ground. One more round of these bodies to the ground. One more round of these bodies to the ground. One more round of these bodies to the ground. One more round of these bodies to the ground. Yeah! No effects, man. That's pretty cool. Hey okay, Jay, what time did we board? We board a minute ago. Oh! So, judging by this line, we may or may not make the flight. Doesn't look good. We might not make the show. Bring. Coming up next on Backstage Passport. Bring. El Jefe sneaks into the line. Bring. 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 And, uh, I don't know, we haven't seen Kent or Miguel yet. Bring. They went to go pay our taxes. Uh, and Bring. I think the real story here is uh, how no one really cares. You mean how the band? I, I just have no concern at all. Coming up next, will NoFX find another flight? Bring. We made our flight, and once again, we landed in Bogota, Colombia. We started all over again. The madness begins. What's gonna happen? I don't know. This is the third time, and third time's a charm. So this time the government's having us play. Who's above the government? What, the drug cartel? The last time we were here, right when I got through customs, some kid gave me uh, a bag of Coke and a bag of pot, right into my hand. Welcome to Colombia. So let's see if there aren't three or four people like that this time. Last time we got to Bogota, we got totally mobbed at the airport. So we were kind of bracing ourselves for the huge crowd. Were you here last time at the airport when they came? Yes, I was. Yeah. Many more people last time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not quite as many fans as last time, but there were still a few. At least they hadn't given up on us entirely. I wouldn't say our popularity is waning. I'd say we're just more selective. Like today, we we're the birds, then we were the beetles. You guys know where I can find some coffee around here? <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you, buddy. Have fun. See you up this show. I got something. <laughs> it showed up. I don't know yet. I don't open it. So far, so good. So far, so good. The first 10 minutes. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. You did it, Kent. You really did it this time. You really did it. Don't say that no. yet. We went to the hotel, got some sleep, and the next morning, we went to do our first ever Colombian sound check. You know, if we actually pull off sound check, we get there and do sound check, that'll be the furthest we ever got in Colombia. Actually, this is the furthest we've ever gotten. Yeah. We never even left the hotel to go to the venue. So already, we have accomplished victory. This is the most I've ever seen in Bogota. Looks like a real festival. You know, you got tents, you got backstage areas, you got the main stage here, and there's a statue of Simon over there. Simon who? Simon Bolivia. I don't know, it looks like Sylvester Stallone to me. Yeah. We just played our first song in Colombia. Yeah. Congratulations. Third time's a charm. So far, so good. Wait, Mike, what was that about? Some kid just gave me some pot and some cocaine. I got ecstasy too, holy shit. You want some candy? <laughs> so far, so good. And later that night, it looked like there was actually gonna be a no effect show in Columbia. Bogota, Colombia, getting ready to fucking play. God damn, it's been a long time coming. We're actually here. It's gonna be awesome. I just wanna say that this time, it's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be good. All the things that fucked up in the first season, we're fixing. Tonight's a free show, there's a fucking shitload of people here. Right now, it's not emotional, but when we get out there, 
It's gonna be pretty cool. No offense, place Columbia. I will say I'm glad to be here in this sketchy place with family instead of other sketchy places with people I don't know. So it's worth it. Playing on Bogota and nosotros, the group on No Effects, queremos pedir disculpa the ultima años de fucking mierda, odiendo ustedes. Y otra vez queremos pedir disculpe porque unfortunately it's a fucking group of va to car or mismo. Okay, this time for real, we're really gonna play. Oh my god, we're really here! We made it! We're here! I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to meet my friend, the Russian, the Irish, the German, the Colombian. Six years, three attempts, rip-offs, death threats, shady promoters, water cannons, and riot cops, bomb scares, drugs, dogs, hookers, nuclear war, weapons of mass destruction, and herpes. We finally made it. Honestly, thank you so much for coming to see us. Thank you so much. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Now they owe me. You don't play Columbia once, and your show gets canceled the second time. You come back a third time, and there's 30,000 people here. So we should really do that in more places. <laughs> We've never had 30,000 people in South America. No, you have to cancel. South Americans love cancellations. Yeah, no, I'm back! Come here! <laughs> I love you, buddy. I love you, too. We went on this tour to make good on our promises to come play these places, and we did it. I don't know if NoFX keeps their word. I just know that we did this time. When we say we're gonna play someplace, we make good. And the integrity is really important to me and it's part of the band. So when we actually got back down there and played, it was... That was that fucking deal. Definitely ran the gamut of emotions. There were times when I was terrified, times when I was totally overjoyed that we were pulling stuff off times that I was totally scared, but all in all, it was an amazing experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. The luckiest man in the world. The luckiest man in the world. Are we gonna do more backstage passports? Uh, people talk of us going to India, which I don't wanna go to. Who knows what's gonna, you know, what crazy places they wanna do next, hopefully India. I'm not going to India, or any province in India. I don't really like curry and all that tandoori, so. But I'll play. No Indian islands. Nowhere is touching the Indian Ocean. Uh, nowhere where there is American Indians. It was a great adventure and it was awesome to go to all these crazy places all over the world, but I think from now on we're just gonna stick to California. I'm not sure if we're gonna have another Backstage Passport uh, come out, but one thing's for sure is there's gonna be more craziness and more shit going wrong and that's just the way our life is. You never know what you're gonna get and it's always fucking fun.